Hi, everyone. I'm so glad to be here. So it's going to be very fast. Uh, I only have four minutes. Uh, We're going to talk about CQRS. Uh, has anyone heard about this already? OK, a few people. So uh, the main principle is separating writes from reads. Uh, most of the time, it's used with event-based systems. But why? Um, because maybe you have some database who looks like this, uh, with a lot of tables, a lot of drains, so very long queries. And the second reason is because well, uh, processing of reads and writes is asymmetrical. So it makes sense to not scaling the service symmetrically. Um, and so, as I said before, it comes most of the time with a pattern called event sourcing. So it's basically storing a series of events and rebuilding state of the system by replying them. Uh, it's the same thing as does Redux, for example. It's not exactly the same thing, but looks the same. Um, so there are four types of things in event sourcing. First one is a command. Uh, which is an action. It represents something that happens in our systems. It produces events, throw errors, or nothing happens. Second is an event, which is immutable. It means that the, the event is raw and pure. It should contain all the information, and uh, it does not derive from other information. It's like the pure data. Uh, then we have an event handler, which, which are kind of the subscriber for all the events they are uh, broadcast to the system, it performs some action on new events, it persists new states, update aggregates. And then, finally, you have a query, which is kind of a reduced data view. Uh, it's, also, it's also called an ideal data. Uh, it's like the perfect data for your front end. Uh, so let's dig inside an example. Uh, We're going to, to do an order service uh, for, I don't know, buying hamburger, for example. So here, you have on the right side uh, the writes. So you basically, you have a placeholder method which produces a command. It goes to a command service. Uh, the command service does some kind of validation, maybe using a, a state database. And if the command is good, uh, it's going to emit uh, an event which is order placed. Uh, two points. First, to the event store, which is some kind of history of all the events that happen in the system during the whole time, and it broadcast it to a messaging bus. So this is the write part. And then you have the read part on the other side, which is uh, so all the, all the event handlers who are listening to the other placed events. They are doing some kind of updates to the read model database, which is connected to a query service. And then uh, in your front end, uh, you call, for example, your API. Uh, you, you call the get order, which reads from the query service to the read model database. Uh, so pro and cons. It's suited for a complex domain. Uh, it enables high performance because you have uh, one part of your application for writes, one part for read. Uh, also, I think the main feature is about human fault tolerance. Uh, it means that you can uh, actually uh, have bugs, for example, in your database. And when you have bugs, most of the times, uh, if you write the bugs to the database, you need to do some migration, and it's kind of painful. Uh, with this kind of system, you can basically erase the database and just rebuild it from all the events on the other side. But there are some cons. It adds a lot of complexity. Also, when you, when you replay events, it can get some kind of tricky with multiple versions uh, over the time. And also, you need a robust message bus for handling event propagation. Well, that's all, folks. Thank you very much.